Dice and Dots of Guacamole. Uh, you might be asking what my credentials are. I used to work at Kidoba. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty authorized to talk about it. Uh, what goes in guacamole? Avocados, they have to be ripe, but not too ripe, and not too hard. White onions, if you use yellow onions, it'll taste too sweet. Red onions, I just don't like them. White onions are better. <laughs> you get green onions, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Next ingredient is cilantro, jalapenos, limes, and salt. Sometimes tomatoes, I think it makes it too mushy, because mm -hmm. there's too much water. I don't know, it's gross. Anyways, <laughs> how do I make guacamole? So I personally chop the cilantro really thin, and then I add onions, jalapenos, and I mix it into a maceration with the lime juice and it breaks down and softens all the ingredients. You scoop it into the really mashed avocados and you salt it. Uh, what are common mistakes in guacamole preparation? Adding fresh garlic. Raw garlic is super pungent, makes guacamole taste bad. It's good in Italian food, but when you add it to guacamole, it's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> tortilla chips, when people don't account for the amount of salt in the tortilla chips and then they salt the guacamole, it's just too salty and it ruins the guac. The next consequence is when people try to make artisanal guacs. Is that bacon on it? bacon and goat cheese, and I don't know what those yellow things are, but it's not right. <laughs> It's like some lady named Karen saw it on Pinterest and tried to make it. It's not good. <laughs> Same thing here with mangoes in it. Way too many mangoes. Raisins? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and this is the worst. So hummus is a great dip. Guac is a great dip. You don't want it together. <laughs> it looks like the Muse Next Dude's <laughs>